Live from the San Jose Convention Center, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Hadoop Summit 2015. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Hortonworks, and by EMC, Pivotal, IBM, Pentaho, Teradata, SyncSort, and by Attunity. Gwen Disco, now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live here in Silicon Valley at Hadoop Summit 2015. This is Silicon Angles, the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. Our next guest, two great guys from ENC, Aiden O'Brien, senior director of EMC, and Chris Harrell Field, CTO at EMC Solutions. Guys, welcome to the Cube. Thanks, John. So you guys are in the solutions group. It's like the three groups at EMC. You've got the core technology division, you've got the emerging division, I have those actual names, but core and emerging. Really complimentary of EMC at EMC role. I was pretty excited to see that because EMC has finally laid out a vision where this core, straight and narrow, and even Extreme IO, even though it's new, we call emerging, is a hot seller, so it's in the core group. But Isilon anchors that emerging group, and that's a you know like the Macy's of the of the mall, and everything else is a cloud, big data. Yeah. You guys are out in the solutions group doing all the the customer work, all the legwork, mm -hmm. and the trenches. So you know what's going on in the customer environment. I'll see. You don't need any ROI calculator to tell you that analytics is a game changer. That's pretty much what was a couple of years ago. Now we're in the enterprise grade Hadoop. Big data is out there. Analytics are on the run's agenda. There's re-architecting going on. And but you got this little thing out there called cloud that's enabling it and kind of kind of connecting yeah. into that. What's, what are you guys seeing in the customer environment? Yeah, so I think from, from my perspective, a great variety of you know, different levels of maturity, you know, both within sort of country across the globe, but uh, you know, as regards how they're looking at their engagements. A lot of customers who know it's important but really don't know where to start. Other customers who, you know, they know what they want to do, but they lack the skills and they see the technologies changing so quickly and they don't actually know how to get their hands dirty. And then there's others yet still who, you know, have got the skills, they've got the vision, they know what they want to do, and then they just say, well, Give me that you know platform. Let me go and do the work. So really, very, very sort of a wide variety, and you know, lots of lots of those actually starting to think about well, how do I actually do analytics out in the cloud? How do I actually sort of start to embrace that as well? But you know, that's not easy from a you know a data sovereignty and data privacy perspective as well. So it's a real, real mixed bag out there, to be honest. What do you think? Yeah, we, we see the same things across the customer base as you brought up. Uh, certainly a lot of early adopters are in the re-architecting phase right now where they've run up against some sort of either technical or just operational limit. Um, and so for my part, uh, you know, I spoke here earlier this week and I gave a, a DevOps themed session around that because I really believe that this is where the rubber meets the road in that DevOps space and that convergence of cloud and data analytics is really starting to drive that in the market. Um, but overall, I, I totally agree with Aiden, we, we've just seen such a breadth of consumer out there for, for this analytics suite and I think, you know, as you've seen in the press I'm sure lately, um, you know, people are talking about the challenges of getting to that analytics model and one of the keys is just getting the infrastructure itself out of the way and making that yeah. dead simple. Uh, that's where cloud and DevOps obviously come yeah, in. Yeah, and so. I was saying on my intro on day one that it's almost as if there's no real breakthrough analytics things I'm seeing here, no shiny new toy that's yeah. popping out. If anything, Spark is overshadowing a lot of the, the conversation that mm -hmm. Spark Summit's next week. Yeah. We're expecting IBM to make a big announcement there and there's some leaks out there around you know, their investment in that area. But it's like the tide being pulled out for that next tsunami wave coming in. That wave is, seems to be cloud because in all of our conversations across all of our different cube events we've done, EMC World and a variety of other industry events like OpenStack mm -hmm. and whatnot, you're seeing open source and you're seeing the conversation about the cloud's impact of the data center, which kind of is the, the, the building block around storage that's circulating around storage, which is this has to power scale mm -hmm. in the enterprise, mm -hmm. which analytics will sit on top of. So I, I see that DevOps yeah. piece uh, perfectly sitting in directly with this analytics trend. Okay, if do you want if you do you guys believe that? And if we believe that, what's next? What has to happen? Because should developers? I mean, DevOps is about code, infrastructure mm -hmm. is code. Mm -hmm. The infrastructure just works for me. I shouldn't have to write extra code. Right. So, do you guys agree with that thesis of the of the app developers and the cloud coming together? The wholeheartedly, a hundred percent. In fact, I mean, so we're EMC. We have a history of storage. We understand that. Storage is a key platform across the board. Was obviously certainly very well versed in the storage market. We we see a lot of those trends, but 
even as an organization, EMC is very mindful of this this sort of tectonic shift, right? Especially in this big data market space, and we we see that storage is the empowerer across the board. But as Aiden is fond of saying, I don't want to steal his thunder, but I'm going to anyway. Um, it's no longer the control point in the technology discussion. It really is. It's the it's the development. Yeah. It's the application people that are driving that transformation. And I think I think just to give EMC credit, Jeremy Burton, who we're big fans of, because you know he had that vision in 2010. Yeah. He saw the storage market as a standalone basis, is not a thing. Yeah. So it's not a new thing. It's not like EMC woke up this year and said, "Hey, let's get out of the storage business." Right. No, no, they have a great storage business, but it's changing. Yeah. Right. right? It's less hardware, more software. Well, and absolutely. I mean, but if you think about, it, if you look at those deals that are going down with customers. You know, the largest component of those deals is indeed the infrastructure element. It still right. costs a lot of money, and so there's still lots of money to be made in that space. But you know, to, it's not where the control point is. The control point is the business outcome. How are we using all of those technologies to actually go and enable businesses to, to use you know, the analytics? You know, to build those applications rapidly. And you know, in terms of what's happening next, for me, it's you've got to actually have those uh, the ability to bring together data with analytics and applications. And it's only if you can bring those three things together can you actually make a real difference. Yeah. So. I was saying, I was speculating again, I was oversimplifying, doing my normal cube, tired, making things up, uh, let's go along. <laughs> but my, my message to, to Ryan at, uh, from EMC was, EMC just has to get out of the way, mm -hmm. the market, because they have storage, yep. right? The old EMC was, you know, win the deal, because there wasn't a lot of competition, and you were basically storing data, emails and other mm -hmm. custom company data, so it was competitive, you uh -huh. wanted to win the storage vendor product game. Okay. Now, storage growth is so, I mean, data growth is so massive, yeah. The, the quote need for storage is kind of a no-brainer. So if they can just be that bit bucket, if exactly. you will, yeah. and just get out of the way and make developers life yeah. easy. Yeah. yeah. So so, so when you have to, don't have to replicate around. So if I'm in Hadoop today, I might be in a different platform tomorrow. Yeah. That's a that's an easy strategy. Just get out of the way of the developer. Yeah. How do they do yeah. that? I and mean, if that's the, I mean, it sounds easy, but that's that's kind of what EMC's trying to do is yeah. just yeah. win the. So, so, so from, a, at least from a strategic perspective, you know, it's, it's very much what we're saying is that the way we're approaching this market is to, it's big data is an ecosystem play. There is no single company that has all of the answers across data analytics and apps. So the way we're looking to do is, well, how do we take the fantastic technologies we've got, but also supplement that with the ecosystem out there, both from a technology ISV perspective, but also from a, a systems integrator perspective, you know, whether the big SI, such as a CAP or a Deloitte, because it's only by bringing those things together can we actually sort of address the control point of the business outcome, um, and then we just need to make sure that underneath that, the infrastructure, the platform just works. We don't want people to talk about that, we want people to talk about the, the, the innovation, you know, the, the business outcomes that they're actually able to deliver on top of that platform. Yeah, absolutely right. I think what we're seeing in the market, the, the sort of the drivers is, as, as Hadoop has moved out of the science fair stage, right, of of constant tinkering, constant tweaking, and we're moving into more of this broader enterprise adoption. The the need for enterprise grade platform level solutions becomes readily apparent. We obviously have a great track record in that space from an EMC perspective. So our storage and our and our platform layer technologies, we're engineering them specifically to your point. It should be tooling agnostic. I should be able to run what I need to run on top of that platform, and as that market evolves, we can keep pace with it because we're, we're, we're getting out of the way. We're engineering the solution so that it's transparent for the, the data consumer themselves. Not right. everyone's on the same spectrum of transformation. You know, the, the early sure. adopters, as you mentioned, which mm -hmm. is becoming bigger population because sure. the fast followers are kind of seeing that. Then you got the people who are like the third wave of transition. Mm -hmm. They're the classic enterprise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not small, I mean, big, no. but you know, they've been consolidating in the 90s, they got their budget yeah. set up, they're spending 70% of their budgets running IT right. and operations. Yeah. They have to innovate fast. So how do you guys see those guys? Are they, are they at what spectrum of the transformation are they? Just kicking the tires, are they trying to get the blueprints? Mm -hmm. What's some of the conversations you're having in, in the spectrum from, you know, you know, not that an early adopter to big time early adopter. Uh, genuinely, um, you know, if you'd asked me that question even two years ago, right? There are still customers that you meet with that go, "What's to do?" Right? That that's totally evaporated, right? So everybody understands that analytics, Hadoop as a specific tool, but just analytics in general, is becoming a line of business functionality, right? And so, obviously, through through IT transformation and the cloud and DevOps and, and analytics, we, we, EMC, has 
consistently preach this IT transformation message right across our customer base. We're following through on that in this space because what we're doing is as we see those sort of that third wave adopter come up, what they run up against is I get that this is important. I don't get how the parts work together because I'm smaller or, or not a, an early adopter. I didn't go out and hire a bunch of data scientists or, or data engineers. I can't really make the pieces and parts work together on my own. Right, so that that we're reaching that convergence point where just like with cloud, with hybrid cloud and on-premise cloud and things like that, I need that appliance-like experience to enable me to rapidly stand up the environment and then get the environment out of the way so I can actually start to drive that business value on top of it. And that's, I mean, that's really what I think we see. All right, guys, what's next? Market. What's the summary of the show here and what's next for you guys, for the folks out there watching? What's going on at the show? What, what should they know about what's happening here at Hadoop Summit and what's next for EMC Solutions? Cool, so, so from, from my perspective, what we're, we're seeing at the show is it's a great validation of you know, the direction that we're taking. So Hadoop, you know, massively important, but it's obvious that you know, sort of with, with, uh, with, with Spark and Storm and other sort of you know, frameworks, you know, that's not, Hadoop's not sufficient in of itself if we're trying to think about delivering that business value. So you know, the platform that we released earlier this year, the roadmap that we've got for that, you know, it's very much in sync. And so this show, from, from my perspective, has been a great validation of the, the direction that we're taking at EMC. I, I truly, I think the the exciting thing for me this this year was uh, the use case conversations. The real, hey, we've actually done this. It was actually successful. You can actually move forward with it. That was fantastic to see. Uh, a lot of the conversation in years past has been purely technology, right? Here's yeah. what's emerging. Here's what's coming. And this was really about, hey, you can be successful with this. And I think that's, yeah. again, just to your point, a beautiful validation of what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, and the sessions also give you an indicator of the level of, of activity, managing multiple yes. workloads. Yes. So, I mean, the, the scope of conversations certainly shift, yeah. the linguistics of the metadata. If I had a tag cloud in my head to spit out, it'd be like, real time is a big word that's coming yep. out yeah. of here. Um, yeah, what would be what would be you guys' top conversations here at the summit? What's, what's going on? Top three conversations you're involved in. So top three conversations um, for, for, from my perspective has been, you know, speaking with the partners and understanding, you know, sort of where, where they are and what they're seeing and sort of uh, everybody's all about this, you know, sort of uh, thinking about how do we achieve that click button, get cluster experience, but across the whole stack, you know, sort of the, the, the array, the cluster and indeed the applications, making it easy for people now that we know it's real, yeah. that's the key thing which I'm taking away. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I, th I think, I, you know, I said at the beginning, is it's the DevOps model emergence in this space specifically. It, it's something I'm passionate about, but I, I'm so excited to have people come up to me after giving a DevOps session and say, hey, I'm not a data scientist, I'm an ops guy, and I'm here, and I'm trying to learn, yeah, and I'm trying right to understand. On. What was the I, comment you mentioned before you came on? This is the perfect opportunity for th This is this data analytics, this space, right? It, regardless of your platform or your tooling or anything like that, just this space in general is is the the killer app that, that DevOps has been waiting for, right? I mean, this is the, this is the, um, the time for actual mm -hmm. DevOps emergence. Love that quote. Yeah. We'll leave it at there, Harold. And it, great, great quote. That's going to be a uh, that's going to be a bumper sticker for us. <laughs> this is the killer app that DevOps been waiting for. And yeah. It's going to certainly DevOps is going to just like explode out of proportion. Containers, software developers have been waiting for this perfect storm yeah. really to kind of hit. And I think yeah. it's going to again that tide is coming out and this wave is coming in. It's yeah. going to make analytics scream. So, be interesting with who stores the data. Yeah. <laughs> EMC. <Yeah. laughs> If you're not in software business right now, if you're a storage vendor, you're in trouble. Exactly. Thank you. We've been making okay. that move for the last few years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. We'll be right back from the queue here live in Silicon Valley for Hadoop Summit 2015 after the short break.